Hi everybody, how are you? My name is Matthias and today we will look at Model 82, a sequencing monosynth from Softube. Model 82 is a component circuit model synth based on the Acid Techno Rave bass synth of the 80s. In today's video I first play through some of the factory patches that comes with the Model 82, then we will talk about the user interface and do some custom sound design. Let's take the tour! Okay, so let's dive right into some presets of uh, Model 82. And we find the preset browser up here by tapping this browser icon. And let's just begin with uh, some of the sounds here at the bottom. The wide saw, a classic fuzzy lead sound. And this will be a totally dry sound. That's a really fat and analog modeled sounding filter. Let's bump up the resonance a little bit. Right, so I think we need some effects to wetten up this sound and Model 82 by default does not come with uh, any effects. It's just like uh, your typical TB303 uh, uh, bass synth. But uh, we can add some delay plus from Bitwig and uh, the free Valhalla Shimmer reverb. Let's add a little bit of that. <laughs> Let's go to the next patch. Let's try the velocity sign sub. That's a really fat uh, sine base. The velocity repeater. Let's add some effects on that one too. House lead of the 90s. A great transition effect, like a noise uh, sweep transition. So some really fat bases in in this uh, preset library. Quickly. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so it's time to talk a little bit about the user interface of a Model 82. In the middle section here we have the source mixer and that's where your oscillators live. We first have a pulse width oscillator, which is the main oscillator. So let's uh, get rid of that uh, effect again. So that's our pulse with the oscillator and we can obviously select which uh, octave this should be with the VCO section here. And here we can set the pulse width. And we also have a switch here for setting if uh, the pulse width should be controlled by an LFO or it should be manual or by the envelope. It's currently set to the LFO, so if we adjust the modulator here, which is the LFO, we will start to hear this pulse with the modulation being modulated by the LFO even more heavily. And you can set the LFO to either be free, so free tempo, or sync to the tempo of your door. So if it's set to your door here, you can set it to 16th notes, 8th notes, quarter notes, etc. Let's set it to free again. And you obviously have a triangle, a square, and a random and a noise modes for, for the LFO. Aside from the pulse with the oscillator, we also have a sawtooth oscillator. And a sub oscillator. And you can set the octave for the sub oscillator. We can also add some noise. Okay, so let's see how we can program a bass sequence with the Model 82. We press the load button here and now we can enter notes on the keyboard. So let's just uh, make something simple like this. And now we can press the play button here and now as soon as we start the sequence, the Model 82 will follow along and play that sequence. So now we can continue and fiddling with uh, these uh, settings, the parameters. You can hear you can do a lot of uh, sound manipulation with this um, with the synth and it sounds really really good especially i especially like this uh, doubling and the overdrive on this uh, on this synth so let's uh, try the arpeggiator and set it to uh, upwards motion and now let's uh, just press a few keys here let's take something in d minor instead <laughs> So you can see in arpeggiator mode we can work with this uh, pitch parameter to change the octave of uh, of that um, arpeggiation. Now we can also change the color of the interface here. If we press this uh, little arrow button here we have a side panel and on the side panel we can change to either this uh, 
white grayish kind of background or a red one or a blue one if we prefer that. And now if we have this uh, velocity up here for the voltage control filter, if we drag the filter down here, we can control the filter via the velocity. Now we can also choose to have this uh, the pitch band here control uh, the VCO, VCF and uh, also have a trig here for the LFO to trigger the LFO, which can be quite nice if we have like longer notes. If we have play, play a little phrase. Okay, so let's see how we can set up our MIDI controller to control parameters on the Model 82 interface. To do that, you go up to the MIDI Learn button here, and we can actually unlink this bender and frequency, which is uh, parameters that I already linked, and press this click here to enter MIDI CC linking mode. Now we can select the parameter on the interface here, just to move a knob like this, and move some CC parameter or CC fader or knob on your MIDI controller. So I'm moving the mod wheel here on the Arturia key step, and we instantly have that controller linked to the frequency parameter of the filter. And then we can just exit this uh, MIDI learning. Okay, so in conclusion, I think that Model 82 has a really nice uh, analog modeled sound to it. Definitely a really nice screaming filter without the resonance and you can easily get those screaming basses and, and screaming leads. And the doubling works really nice here, first with detuning the oscillator slightly and then setting them out of, uh, uh, panning them out in the stereo field. And the overdrive sounds really analog and gritty and, and nice on, on the patches. Okay, so if you decide to grab Model 82, you can use my affiliate link in the description and use my uh, special code and you will get the 10% discount on uh, Model 82. The discount code is valid until June 2023. Okay, so if you have any questions on Model 82, please uh, let me know in the comments. My name is Matthias and see you in the next video. Bye!